Hello, if you hear a weird noise in the background, I have given my, my dog a bone and she is going to town on it. So I've decided to make this vlog because I essentially snuck my iPad onto the set of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and I decided to film all of this behind the scenes footage and I totally got in trouble for doing it. I haven't really seen that many behind the scenes Marvel things, um, but I have to assume that I have gotten about as close as you can possibly get to what it's like actually making one of these movies. I took my camera from first thing in the morning uh, to last thing at night uh, over multiple days of filming. It was meant to be a day in the life of Plain Nebula and I was enjoying myself so much that I turned it into a week in the life of Plain Nebula. I do want to warn you that there are a couple of spoiler moments in this video so if you haven't seen volume three yet either avoid this or don't be mad. One scene is between me and Craglin, and actually that's not really that much of a spoiler, like I don't think you'll really understand what's going on if you haven't seen the film, and also the dialogue that you see us doing is actually improvised and it was not in the film. So that'll be fun for you, those of you who have seen the film, you'll get to see a little alt version of the scene between me and Craglin. And then the other spoiler moment is a bit of this video where I'm learning my lines, um, and that is a spoiler, so beware of that. I'm going to interject uh, throughout the video to kind of add context, but actually the real reason is that I want you to remember what I look like when I've got nice makeup on, I've actually slept, and I have nice lighting. Other than that, I hope that you enjoy this sneaky peek into what it's like spending a week playing Nebula. Okay, here's Randy to come and pick me up. Oh, here he is here. Good morning, Good morning Randy. We can't see you. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's the mess that I've made in my car. How are you feeling this fine morning? Good morning. Too early in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my name is Andy Johnson and I'm Karen's assistant. It's super early in the morning, so we're gonna get Karen in hair and makeup and have a good day. Rapscallion. Rapscallion. That is the code name that I gave my trailer. So this is my trailer. So I come in in the morning. These are my sites, which tell me all the scenes that we're doing in the day and then all of the dialogue. Today I'm flying a lot of spaceships because that's what I do. I have some snacks over here. I have a little scene area over here with a fun little fake fire because you you know I love the fake fire. This is for all the cooking I will never do in here. And then up here is the bedroom. Which is a nice little bed with cheeky TV. Another fake fire. Okay, so now what I always have to do is come in and put on clothes that can get absolutely covered in blue makeup. Okay, so now I am in these beautiful clothes to get covered in blue makeup. I'm totally procrastinating on going into makeup. <laughs> but we've got to go because we've got to get started. So let's get blue. I should have said that with a bit more gusto so that I can like cut out of it. Let's get blue! This is your first reminder of what I look like with a ring light, flattering makeup and a full night's sleep. Okay, so now we walk from my trailer to Nebula makeup trailer. These are all the other Guardians trailers and they all have code names. Okay, so here we are. Hi ladies. Good morning. So this is the Nebula makeup truck. There's a piece of my skin. <gasps> and she's got a mug and she's got loads of heads. But first we start with the Nebula hair situation because as we all know, she is bald. So Sean's gonna come in and wrap all of this hair and there is a lot to contend with. This is Sean. How are ya? I make Karen go from Karen to Nebula.
costumer, so she helps me get into the extremely complicated <laughs> superhero outfits. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah! This slides on much easier third generation. <laughs> yes, each arm has been getting more and more comfortable with each film. Guardians 2, and Avengers Infinity War, Endgame, Endgame, and now that's the last one. Four movies! Five years. Woo! <laughs> So we are just finished in makeup. Ooh, hello! Now I'm about to get my COVID test. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's probably well, a completely blue swab. I'm basically ready to go apart from my lips <laughs> and my hand. So those are gonna get done on set because we just like to do them up there so I can eat and drink and stuff without ruining the lips. So now they're gonna call me in a few minutes to go to set and then we are going to finish getting ready and then we're gonna start filming the scenes of the day. Today's gonna be a fun day. I have a lot of flying in a spaceship and a few things with Rocket and a couple of scenes with Kragolin. So it should be a good day. Also, um, I thought because I have a couple of minutes. Maybe I could answer some of the questions. I feel like, am I looking so not at the camera? Where is the camera? The camera is here. Okay, I'm gonna connect with you. I watched the Nebula makeup time-lapse film that we did a few years ago. Then I like looked at some of the comments and there's a lot of questions from people. So I thought I should just do a, a mini Q&A and clear up some of those questions. So the biggest question was, do you have to get into this makeup every single day that you are filming? And the answer is yes, absolutely. I've done this makeup over a hundred times now over the course of a few films. Actually, it's been about 170 makeups at this point. This movie, I, I think I have just under 60 days of filming. So yeah, I'll do this makeup like 57 times or something like that, close to 60. Another answer to a question is my mechanical arm. It's actually made of like a uh, rubber and I just, yeah, put it on and with some talcum powder. Oh, hello. That knock that I hear on the trailer door, I've been hearing, you know, a lot for the past, I don't know, 12 years of my life. And so sometimes legitimately I will be asleep and I will hear, they're ready for you. And I wake up and I'm like, oh, what? And I think I'm in my trailer. I'm just in my bed. Got my sides, got my phone. Just turn the lights off to be good for the environment. Let's do this. Well, here's Randy. You're getting a better look at him now that it's actually daylight. So how does it, um, what's it like being a driver? It's very nice when you have very nice people like Karen. Oh, bless yeah. you. But yeah. it's not nice when you have to wake up at, what time did you have no. to wake up today? 2.45. Oh, Randy. Yeah. 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 That's horrendous. But it is worth it. It is oh, worth it. Oh, good. Well, hopefully you get a wee nap in today. This is Ari. Hi. I'm the base camp AD. Yes. I'm here in the mornings to get everything going and throughout yep. the day. She makes it all happen. She makes it all happen. And has uh, such a okay. cute dog. One, What's the weirdest one. thing that I've ever asked of you? Weirdest thing Karen's ever asked of me. Uh, I'll keep that confidential. <laughs> exactly. Right Karen, answer. Yeah. I am the first team PA. I yeah. work with all the cast. I make sure they're ready for the camera, ready to shoot. They get changed over if we need, all that good stuff. Yes, April has to wrangle all the actors, <laughs> which I've heard is like having a bunch of toddlers running around. Uh, I like it to cats. So I follow April in every day. Okay, so this is where we live when we're not on the actual set itself. And this is the nebula tent. Thanks Val. Okay, so in here we have nebula hands. We have a mic pack so that sound can record everything that I'm saying with really good quality. And here's my nebula chair that is covered in goo. More hands. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? 
This is one of the rare occasions where we're on set and they're not ready. So this is what happens. We just get to chill and have a little fun. Cut Hold loose. This <laughs> Stretch it out. Yes. Come on, Woo. April. <laughs> I'm a prop master and anything that the actor touches, I am responsible for. So I can, I'll buy it, rent it, borrow it, steal it, manufacture it. So what's that that you've got? This is Nebula's communicator. And, and that goes on my costume. And it goes on her costume right here. And today is special because Rocket throws it to her and she's going to have to put it on all by herself. What? So now we're putting on the mechanical hand. Rubber. Okay, now we're walking onto set. Oh, this is Lars, the first AD. Scheduling wizard. Hi. Here's our director. What are How you are doing? you? I'm doing a day in the life of Nebula. Oh, you are? Yes. Yeah. It's like, you know, like smashing bugs. Being mean to people Being that don't mean. deserve it. Yeah. That's and here we have Sean, who's going to do the Hello. voice of Rocket and Kraglin today. Oh, a sneaky peek on the monitors. Don't Do you worry. want to know what you're doing today? Oh, I know. I'm flying a ship. You're going to fly a ship, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah. And also, it's going to be difficult because I plug myself into the ship. Yeah, you have to plug your arm into the ship and take over the controls. Okay, we're about to do a rehearsal on this very beaten up spaceship. With Rocket. With Rocket. <laughs> Look at little Rocket. He's just going to be here doing the dive. Oh, there you go. This is our boom operator. Uh, hello there. Hi, how are you? Excellent, how are you doing? How would you describe your job on this movie? I hold what's called the idiot stick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring that fire out. Alright, you good, Henry? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ready and action! Can't this freaking thing. The flight controls are screwed. I'll do it. Go help the others. Wait. Here it comes. Sure, you're okay. Yeah. Pilot, I'll pilot from this side. Good. Anything else you need, Henry? Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> He's steering the ship. Now we're coming back. So this is not, this is basically right after what we just done. That's the director and head of VFX well, he and works, DP yeah. looking at the storyboards yeah. for the day. Uh, my name is Brianna right. Michelle Lawrence, and I'm actually standing on the film. So I get to help set up all the shots before Nick Karen comes in. And I love that you look like <laughs> me in real life. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Which yes. is not really relevant on this film because I'm completely bald and blue. It is not, but at least I'm the same height and everything. Now you can see us. I mean, the, the resemblance is <laughs> incredible. It's, it's happened happened before, day. after. Exactly. <laughs> but we've awesome. worked on a couple of films. Yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we worked on both the Jumanji films together. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's been great. I know, it's really fun to have the consistency of like having the same Definitely. people that you work with like over Thank different movies. God. Oh, you've got to go to work. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> Bye. I got Brianna in trouble. So I thought it could be fun to teach you some terms that we use on a film set. So you may or may not know that to go 10-1 means that you're going to the bathroom. So like, say I go to the bathroom and somebody asks where I am, they'll be like, Karen's 10-1. It's code for, you know. Mm. Here comes Karen, coming in. Yes, coming through. Clear. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's roll, please. Get lots of sparks going. Okay. Three. Come on. Okay, we're set. All right, here we go. We're set. Ready. And action.
Cragula back in action. That's our couple name. What? That's our cr couple name, Cragula. Uh, do you prefer Neblin? Yeah, I think my name should be first. Does that mean that we're engaged? I've been married lots of times, believe me, it's great. How many times? Like 14. What? Yeah, yeah, but it's great, believe me. We should we should think about, just I'll, get, I'll let you take some time to mull it over. It's pretty good. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> okay, go back to the top one more time. <laughs> just give me the, uh, the, yeah, I got it part. Yeah. Still rolling? Yeah, yeah. All right, you're ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready and action. And that's a wrap on me today. Woohoo! How are you feeling about being wrapped on day? Oh, it's devastating once to stay at work. So now I'm back in my trailer and we get to start the D-rig. So first we're gonna get all the costume off. They will be put it on. <laughs> Park in the ship during all of this. <laughs> Oh, best part of the day. No, the best part of the day is the makeup coming off. But this is <laughs> second. This is a great process. Okay. So we have been counting down from 10 in sets of fives, and this looks like a crazy person, but this is all the days that we've done so far. And it's your turn to do the honors. Sam. Good morning. So it is a completely different day today. It is a Friday and I have it off which is rather exciting so I have decided I haven't decided I need to go back to LA because I've got some press coming up for another film and um, so I'm on my way to the airport right now I got my coffee the best latte in town and let's go to LA okay truth be told I'm leaving my mask on because I have a really horrible friend living on my face at the moment so this is as much as you're getting of my face <laughs> i am home i am home in los angeles i'm going to go straight into a fitting because i have press tomorrow for the bubble film uh, coming out i still have blue under my fingernails <sighs> look at all of these clothes and wait for it shoes this is elliot the time is 5.22 a.m. Okay, so now I sit and I wear my lines for the cheeky cup of tea. Nebula? Where are you? We're here to get you out of here. Out of where? The high evolutionary ship. I got off the ship. You what? Where are you? On the ship. On the ship? I didn't lie. Why are you on the... To save you, obviously. I told you to go back. You should know by now. I always figure an incredibly clever way to get out of a fix. Tell him I said hi. Really? Tell him we're coming to save him. Pay attention or play with the kids. One or the other. Play with the kids? How did you get out? That's not important. I am rude. Jumping a thousand feet to your death without a parachute is a clever way of getting out of a fix. You're all just making stuff up he's saying, right? The important thing is we're all okay. Rocket and scene. That is basically how I learn my lines. By doing bad versions of everybody else's voices. Leaving spaces for my lines on the phone. And then... I do that so many times and then I will also go through each line and say it like 20 times as fast as I can because actually that started because I, I was acting in a different accent and my natural accent and I was like I really need my muscles to remember where to go so I thought I'll just train and then I just ended up sticking with that technique actually and um, it just means I can zone out a little bit <laughs> that sounds bad but no when I'm acting like I don't want to be thinking about the words I want to just be free to go wherever I want to emotionally and sometimes it feels restricting if I'm like what do I say next I'd rather just 
that's done, muscle memory, then I can just do whatever I want. It almost feels like I do all of the hard work the night before, and then I just like have a laugh all day. <laughs> Here is the photo shoot, wow. It's John Apatow! Oh. This is my day in the life of video. Oh my gosh, is this what every day of your life is like? I have changed out of my trousers and put jeans on and boots but kept the top on <laughs> and I've taken all the water from the hotel room which was I'm allowed to do because we booked the room. What's happening now is I'm going from Los Angeles back to Atlanta, and that's it. I don't snore. Good morning. It is about eight o'clock in the morning. I came back into work at about 4.30 in the morning, got into the makeup again, um, and now I'm just waiting in my trailer for them to come and knock for me so I can put my costume on. Um, on the plane journey, I got a lot of work done actually. So I guess when this, when this video comes out, a lot of things will have been announced by then. So I can talk about the fact that I am creating an app. The app is called Scene. Anyway, Nebula as you were. Um, and that has been an incredible process and I should do a, just a completely separate video just about that because it has been so wild to just be like, okay, I am going to create an app. I don't know how to create an app. I don't know anyone who has done that before. So let me just dive into this and see if I can figure this out. It was so rewarding. It's been so rewarding so far because, because it's not something that I'm like, put, that other people are doing that I'm putting my name to. Thankfully, I found some amazing people to join me on this adventure. I am really chatty this morning. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so energetic. I had such a whirlwind weekend. Good morning. Good morning, girl. So it is Friday and I think I left you on Monday morning last. So I had flown back from Los Angeles to Atlanta, came into work Monday morning. So I worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday filming on the film um, and now it's Friday and I'm not actually filming today so that is when we have to do our stunt rehearsals and all of the other things that we don't have time to do when we're filming. Again a reminder with flattering makeup, a full night's sleep and a ring light. <laughs> And go! Nice. I think this video has given you a pretty good grasp of my general day-to-day -day life um, while I'm filming. It's 
a lot of being nebula. It's a lot of trying to work out or trying to persuade myself to work out. It's a little bit of uh, press for other films sometimes. That's more sporadic. And then it's obviously keeping on top of the app. And that is pretty much my life. So I hope you have enjoyed this journey with me. Um, how do you close out these things? I would just love to take this opportunity to say thank you all so much uh, for seeing the film. It has done so extraordinarily well. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Goodbye. Never come back here.